Welcome back to CI Living Kitchen. Many families spend a lot of time in the kitchen doing some holiday baking. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a gingerbread house out of a milk carton with my two ornery ones here, Brock and Jillian. Oh my word, little hand bones right here I got. So first of all, what you're gonna need is a milk carton. And I was lucky enough that my sister teaches at um, Fisher and um, so she saved these for me. And it's very simple. These aren't really the kind that you eat. These are more just for fun and decorating. So first you're gonna start with a milk carton and you're gonna make some royal icing. It's really simple. You beat four egg whites till it gets foamy and then you're gonna add a little bit of vanilla foamy. or lemon if you want. It's foamy. <laughs> and then you're gonna toss in some powdered sugar and whip it up until you get um, the consistency that you want. This stuff, right, powdered sugar. This stuff kind of like turns out like glue when it's dry. So you don't want it to like be sitting out and getting, um, you know, hard while you're doing your, you know, gingerbread houses. So keep it with like a little wet paper towel over if you're not gonna be using it for a while or, um, you know, just keep it in an airtight container. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a whole bunch of that, um, uh, frosting on the bottom, put it on a paper plate, mm -hmm. then you're gonna use some, uh, <laughs> you're gonna use some graham crackers. Hey, are you all ready to start decorating? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna take your graham crackers and you're gonna use four around the corners and then you're gonna cut one of them in half with a knife. All you have to do is just use a gentle sawing motion. You don't wanna snap it and break it because if you do it too hard, it will break. So just, just use a really simple sawing motion because that's gonna go here on the sides where we have them here. And then just two, yeah, a little sawing motion. And then you're gonna put two on the top. So very, very simple. You wanna let these dry while they're setting up. So these I did last night. So they've been you know, drying and they, they're hardened so they're not gonna fall apart Mommy. when it's actually time to frost. Yes, ma'am. Are you gonna cut them? No, we're not gonna cut anything. We're getting ready to decorate. Are you ready to decorate? Okay, here's a knife for Brockers, and then you've already got yours, it seems, so here you go. So they're gonna get a little bit of frosting. Just start putting, okay, Ninja. Here, start frosting your gingerbread house. Okay, get a little frosting on there. Hey, I'm doing it. Oh, okay. You are Mr. Independent, ah, aren't you? So hey, you are Mr. Smearing Mr. it on there. Okay. Hey, and you're then you Mr. Tendo. Oh, please. Uh, you're a goob. Just you're actually that my show pooty. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know what that was. But just, you can help them. I and don't know what that was. Okay. <laughs> Enough with the silliness. Just start frosting. And then something else I wanted to show you that I've done. Um, if you're going to have like a little gingerbread house making party with your uh, kids or neighbors or church friends, you can make them these cute little um, milks because you've got to have some milk to go with your cookies and goodies. So I got these little milk uh, cups. Actually, they're Starbucks little Frappuccino um, uh, jugs that you get at like Target. And then just wash them out and uh, pop a little, um, I just put some salt on there and then a white covered um, sugar donut hole and I use brown sprinkles for the eyes, a Tic Tac for the nose, and then I got these really cool pins. Um, they're uh, food writers that you can just draw the little mouse on. So, super easy, super mm. cute. Okay, are we ready to start decorating, Jillian? Yeah! Jillian, what's your favorite thing to put on um, gingerbread houses? Peppermint. Peppermint? Okay, well why don't you get started on the peppermint? What's your favorite thing, Brack? What's your favorite mm. thing to put on your gingerbread house? Chocolate and candy and mm, mm. Yeah, okay, well, how about some jelly beans? I've got jelly beans. You know what actually works best? Save all that candy that they rack up on at Halloween because then you can just use it and it doesn't have to go to waste. Like it usually does at our house because they don't eat that much Halloween candy. You wanna put a little more frosting on there for you? Okay, just get started. You can put whatever you want on there. You got it, sis? I don't know. Oh, I okay. Open it. Super simple. And the trick is if you put too much um, royal icing on there, your candies will slide. So you don't want to use too much when it comes time to decorating. Go crazy with it when you're trying to build it and put it together, but you don't have to worry about it when, um, <laughs> when that. So, okay, what else are you going to put on there? Look at all this candy we've got. You can, when, and the good thing about putting it on a plate like this, you can decorate the whole plate. You can make like a whole landscape scene. Yeah, sure. Cute. Fun, huh? 
This one over here usually just likes to eat the candy instead of decorating the house, don't ya? That's very windy. It's windy? Oh, no, I don't want it to blow off. It's going to be windy, I know what you're saying. <laughs> because I know that you're a thinker. Okay. <laughs> and I know that you're a thinker. Are you on the nice or naughty list? Nice. I hope so. I sure hope so. What did you ask Cena for? Legos. Legos? Hmm. Jillian, what did you ask Cena for? Um, a Barbie house. A Barbie house. No, oh, my. No, she told Santa for Barbie dream house. Oh, we got to be specific. A Barbie dream house. Right. Oh, my goodness. She knew that. That was she, her plan. She did. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. See, it's a lot of fun at our house during the holidays, baking and doing all that fun stuff. So they're going to keep working on these, and we'll be right back with a look at what's coming up next on CI Living. show it's relaxation week next week on ci living we want to wish you all a merry christmas that's right can you say merry christmas, merry christmas. Merry christmas. Oh.